Here you can see a slightly depressed area where an early cardiac malignancy is located. Zoom views demonstrate a clear demarcation line and dilated and disorganized vasculature. The lesion is better demonstrated in retroflexion views. It is important that the resection margin is extended as close to the squamous columnar junction and even into the esophageal mucosa if required as there is often subepithelial extension of the malignancy towards squamous epithelium. The resection is started at the oral aspect. Following submucosal injection of a lifting agent, ideally the mucosal incision should be started at 3 o'clock position. As the knife exits the gastroscope at 7 o'clock position, this area would be the most difficult to approach, therefore should be dealt with at the beginning. What you can see here are the fibers of muscularis mucosa. Thereafter, it's very important to carry out trimming of the submucosa down to the muscularis propria. Here, mucosal incision and submucosal trimming is being carried out from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock orientation. Once the oral aspect is completed, the distal aspect of the lesion is approached for incision and trimming in retroflexed view. Again, it's important to trim the submucosa down to the muscularis propria. Here you can see a clip and snare traction method being employed. This elevates the submucosa, making the submucosal dissection easier to carry out. When thick penetrating vessels are encountered, they should be coagulated using a coag grasper. Smaller blood vessels can be coagulated using the knife itself. Usually, there are two main penetrating vessels encountered in the cardia immediately to the right of the sling fibers. Here you can see one of those penetrating vessels being coagulated, followed by dissection using the knife. Gastric cardia is one of the most challenging locations for endoscopic submucosal dissection. Employing a traction method makes cardia ESD easier. Here you can visualize the mucosal defect following completion of the ESD. The sling fibers can be clearly seen in this retroflexed view. Pathology of this lesion was reported as a well-differentiated adenocarcinoma, T1A, with clear margins.